This is Project Lead the Way, hands-on learning that gives students a solid foundation in science, technology, engineering, and math, also known as STEM. This program of innovative classes gives students the opportunity to apply what they are learning in traditional math and science classes to real-world problems and projects. Project Lead the Way has been cited by the Harvard Graduate School of Education as a model for 21st century career and technical education. But just how did Project Lead the Way find its footing in New Hanover County Schools? When the Wilmington Chamber of Commerce learned about the program, chamber leaders were excited by the prospect of bringing Project Lead the Way to New Hanover County. They made it part of the mission of the Chamber's Cape Fear Future Initiative to see that it was implemented here. It's important because it's crucial that our local education system helps students develop critical thinking and problem solving skills and that they are prepared to perform in technology jobs. Project Lead the Way can give students an advantage over their peers when it comes to high school, college, and career readiness. Area business leaders agreed, and Cape Fear Future provided more than $50,000 in funding to start the program at Trask Middle School in August 2013. It began with the Gateway to Technology program that is composed of two separate classes, Design and Modeling and Automation and Robotics. The classes engage a student's natural curiosity and imagination, while introducing them to engineering, robotics, computer modeling, and energy, among other STEM-related subjects. Sixty students are participating in the program this year. Half of the students took the design and modeling course the first semester, while the other half completed automation and robotics. At the end of the first semester, the students switched so that they completed coursework in both classes. I love the Project Lead Away. It allows me to express my inner engineer it lets me allows me to play with things like this i get to play with gears and mechanics and it's all it's just so fun i like it a lot because it um you like you're separated from everybody else you can focus on how smart you are and how you can like like the stuff when you got the letter inviting you they um it tells you that they're going to be preparing you for jobs that never have even been created before. And to me that was kind of interesting because how, what, who knows what jobs are going to be created when I get a job and this will actually help me at least know some things I'll need for it, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, I like it because we have to do, we get to do like hands-on activities and you get to build like robotics and you get to learn new programs. In addition to providing world-class STEM curriculum, Project Lead the Way provides ongoing high-quality professional development training for teachers so they can effectively implement and teach the engaging, hands-on, project-based curriculum. Trask Middle School science teacher Chuck Leak was the first New Hanover County school teacher to receive the training at the University of South Carolina, Columbia, and become certified to teach the courses. STEM classes are important because um, you know, they prepare kids for the future. Um, lots of businesses um, tell us that they're not, that our students coming from high school and college aren't ready um, to do things in, you know, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, STEM kind of brings everything together. They have to be able to communicate, they have to be able to research, they have to be able to do science and technology and engineering processes and use math as well through through this so that they can be proficient with everything else. Chuck's classroom has been transformed into a wonderland where one class project has students charged with rebuilding civilization on earth. They use scavenged and recycled materials to build vehicles that can traverse rough terrain, construct a device that can rotate a solar collection dish located outside their building, and develop machines that can pump water, cut wood, and grind grain. We're doing right now, we're doing um, robotics, which is um, automation robotics, and then we're doing 3D design, which is called design and modeling. Um, the robotics class, they use um, 
Robot C, which is a natural language based program, to write code to program simple products, simple robots to do, you know, basic tasks. Um, making things move side to side, carrying objects, uh, elevators, things like that. They're not actually making a robot itself, but they are doing robotic processes and writing the code to program them. And then in designing modeling, they're using um, Autodesk Inventor 2013, which is basically the same uh, program they use at large businesses um, to design things like nuclear reactors, you know, cars and such, but we're just using kind of a step down. We're not using it as an advanced of a platform as they are. Um, but the kids are learning how to make three-dimensional designs on a computer and drawing them out themselves, doing the whole process where it goes from the paper to a three-dimensional design on the computer that they can use and then take that and transfer it to actually building it to something that they can hold. Parts that I like is the computer parts where you get to build the 3D models of certain projects like I did a playground project and built that on the computer and I like that because I am a really good designer also and I just am able to use the program very well and I can just pretty much build anything if you if you give me measurements and what it needs to look like I can just I just like the computers that way. In the design and modeling course, they are building truss bridges. The students have chosen to enter the North Carolina Department of Transportation statewide model bridge building competition, which will require applying mathematical ideas, visualizing structural behavior, and expanding problem-solving skills. I really liked the design and modeling class, which was the first semester, and because we got to build stuff mostly on the computers and now we're building things with gears and we're doing robots and next we're going to do push buttons which if we push a button it makes everything move and in the design and modeling class we build bridges and we had to see how much weight it could hold and we built moon landers which we shot off of a bottle rocket and we had to design them and we have to put annotations in our designs and we have to have four different types of designs which they are side view, top view, front view, and orthographic view. So those are most of the things that we've been doing in this class. The best part about the program is that both students and parents think the innovative hands-on concept is a perfect fit for today's student. Um, I was very excited when I got the letter this summer telling me that my son had um, been approved for the program. He's always been very good in science, but this program is very hands-on. It looks at science, technology, engineering, and math and incorporates those on very day-to-day hands-on things. Um, he's built robotic cars, there have been uh, gliders, there's been a catapult. Uh, he stayed after school to work on his bridge the other day. So it just makes them excited about math and science and shows them how they can use that every day in their lives. So. Um, Sarah absolutely loves Project Lead the Way. She sees the world differently. She starts seeking out different opportunities to um, be involved in science and technology opportunities. So, for example, when they went to Wonderworks, she had been there before but came back telling me all about the robotic um, frozen yogurt machine and how it worked and it was very intrigued by that opportunity wondering if they could actually build one at school. Great enthusiasm. My son, now he's interested in going to school of math and science now because the science and the mechanics they're doing in the class is opening up his horizons and he's so enthused about anything dealing with science and mechanics now. With such glowing praise, Project Lead the Way is already becoming a hot attraction for students. Superintendent Tim Markley was one of the key supporters for implementing the program and has bigger plans. We are very excited about the first year of Project Lead the Way. We've seen some great results at Trask and we really appreciate the partnership with the Chamber of Commerce and we are really looking forward to expanding this to other schools, down to the elementary school as well as some other middle schools. It is one of those truly unique hands-on projects that our students have really embraced. Project Lead the Way is taking student achievement higher and energizing students to be excited about learning in the process. I lead the way. I lead the way. I lead the way. I lead the way. We lead the way.